Greetings, Elder Blacklight. We just gonna straight up rap to you, get to the point real quick, cut the introduction short, and come to you like this. <clears throat> what we've been trying to uh, display to you is how we've been tricked out of our natural selves into the thinking and the culture of a people that's not uh, on the same uh, level as we are morally yeah morally uh, morally the black man all these years we've been oppressed Women have been raped, children been murdered, uh, experimented on, tortured. Uh, we still are complacent when it comes to the Caucasian. We still give the Caucasian the benefit of the doubt. Uh, when most other cultures, they're not going to have it. They tried to do it over in um, Vietnam and police them and, and they, they didn't have it. The same tactics that they're using over in Vietnam and they're using here on a black man. The same tactics that they're using over in the so-called Middle East that they're using here on the black man. See, after the Caucasian came out the caves and Moses stood them upright, they still weren't all the way civilized. And when the Moors, when the Moors conquered Europe, gave them uh, civilization gave them science uh, gave them language all over again uh, the Moors ruled over that for 700 years man and they ruled <clears throat> right along the side they had uh, Christians. They didn't try to choke out the Christian religion. And they had uh, Jewish religion. And that, that remained uh, a, no a normal until the Inquisitions. Now this one, the last Khalifa when, the, when the, the Moors fell over there, uh, they started, you know, get, getting soft a little bit. The Khalifa got soft. He wasn't a strong Khalifa. That's the only reason why the Moors fell, because the Khalifa that they had wasn't, wasn't strong. They was, you know, Digging on them white girls, you know. That's what mess them up. Just like today. Now, we have a problem because the black man has a problem because he thinks Islam is a religion. Islam is a way of life, a way of living. The natural laws of the universe. And that's what we go by, you know. We we go by the natural laws. That's all it is. Uh, the the very term Islam means peace. In order to have peace, you got to have harmony. You got to have unity. Uh, you got to want to have that. Now, the caveman, he still got some of that that uh, beast in him, and he can't come up 
to that high moral standards that the uh, Muslims had or the uh, the original Asiatic black man had. You know, so when uh, when we gave him civilization, we gave him a code of conduct and he broke it. He can't even follow his own laws. He's a lawbreaker. He's an outlaw. And it ain't just Trump. Y'all keep on just wanting to point the finger at Trump. But it ain't just Trump. It's uh, all the pres presidents that founded this country. I mean, you got to go to the root of how they, uh, George Washington and all, and all the boys, how they were living. They were, had the prisoners of war, the black men, as slaves up under them. And they didn't uh, figure them into the Constitution. Then you had some, some uh, Uncle Tom black people or brown-nosed black people that wanted to cut themselves on a piece of this slice of this pie that the white man had built for himself. But they didn't see the end of it. They were short-sighted. Just like Martin Luther King was... You know, he was short-sighted until he sat with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and then you noticed the change in him. Then he was assassinated. You know. Uh, he's our natural enemy. The Caucasian is a, the black man's natural enemy. Uh, some of them don't even know it. But some of them, you know, the ones that adopted Islam, uh, that's their religion. But it's, uh, it's the black man's way of life. You see? Because Islam is the nature, very nature of the black man. The black man is a proponent of peace. He's, the, he's a proponent of Multiplying, adding on, not subtracting, taking away, not destroying, but building. You know, he gave the European science algebra. The white man was wandering around here, over there in Europe, filthy. That's where all your diseases come from. Uh, he had went back to his bestial bestiality ways and when he came over here and stopped mingling with the Indians he gave the Indians syphilis and he himself brought syphilis over here and then after he wiped out the, the Indians with small pots just, just like what's happening over there in China y'all think that uh, they ain't never heard of that disease before you know, what you think? Who you think introduced China to that disease? I can't even pronounce it. Kind of, kind of, kind of, or something. I, I can't, I can't even pronounce that. You know, what well, did just just pop up out of nowhere when the world Allah created the heavens and the earth and saw that everything was good? <clears throat> you think he gonna? put some disease on us to wipe us out with. You know, just think, all you Christians, you know, <clears throat> since y'all love that white man so much, you know, do you think that, that, uh, uh, God, when he created the world, no matter what you call him, Jesus or whatever, that 
everything he saw that was good, then all of a sudden he going to put a plague, a disease on the people and wipe out his creation that he didn't created and it was good. No. Like I said, Yaqub's grafted devil, the one that put the plague on the planet. You know, he plagued himself with his evil thinking. And now he want to plague the whole planet. Doomsday. If he can't be the king of the planet, he'll kill everybody that's in it. You know, but he can't kill the foundation of the planet. He can't kill God. No. The creator of everything. He can't kill him. He gonna try to. But he know. That's why he bowed down. That's why you seen he was bowing down with the shrine of the black Madonna. He knew what time it is. Until uh, an evil ruler came and wanted to change, change it. Change the game around to uh, brainwash the people into thinking that he's the the god of the universe. So that's what's happening up in Washington right now. Now, along with the Crusades, you got also you got uh, the Civil War, the war between. The south and the and the, uh, the north. Yeah, it's still happening now. Somewhere down the line, we're gonna talk about the scenario of south versus north, southern white man versus the northern white man. Black light.